Do you ever misplace everyday items in your traveling van? Are you constantly looking under the seats and in obscure nooks and crannies for those things that you need now? In this video, I show you my solution to this everyday problem by repurposing an old piece of luggage. Next on the Hogtide Rising channel. Howdy and welcome to the Hogtide Rising channel. Well, here I am in Chimanus, British Columbia. I'm gonna show you a little travel pack that from my motorcycle days that I use and I have in the back and it carries some of those essential liquids that you need when you're on the road. So let's go to the back of the van and take a look at my storage container. This is a well-used, rather faded Kuryakin travel pack that I used to use when I was traveling and putting on the big miles on my Harley-Davidson Fatboy Low. I averaged probably 10,000 kilometers a month during the summer riding that bike all over the place. And this pack carried most of what I needed. But now I'm not on a motorcycle anymore. So I had to figure out another use for the pack. And I found it to be a really good storage container for some of those important items that I need when I'm on the road. So this is what I carry in that container. At the very front, that's my uh, extra can of isopropane butane for my camp stove. Now in the back behind that is a container of solvable methyl hydrate. And methyl hydrate is what I use to heat my van. I have a little cabin heater that I used to use on my boat that I now use on the in the van. And the nice thing about methyl hydrate is when it burns, it does not give off carbon monoxide it gives off carbon dioxide so it won't poison you when you're using it the only thing you have to worry about is making sure you have enough oxygen to support the oxidation and in front of that we have a container of flat strap bungees that I picked up at Canadian Tire and which I use for a number of things then over here we have the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant with injector cleaners and fuel conditioners. Now I have been using this stuff for years. I've used it on gasoline engines, I've used it on diesel engines, I've used it in my diesel truck that I had, I used it in the diesel engine in my boat. I also used it in my motorcycle and as you can see the label says it is a fuel saver and it increases miles per gallon. So it's very handy. Now the reason I have the three bottles is I buy it in the big bottle, the gallon size for economy. And then I use the very, very small bottle is a dose, just the right amount for one tank of gas. So when every time I tank up, I just empty that in. But it would be difficult to try to fill up that little bottle with from the big bottle. So I find it's easier to, uh, to transfer from the big bottle into the medium sized bottle that's got that nice little nozzle on it that fits perfectly into the small bottle and allows me to transfer the liquid without waste. And then over here, well, you have to have your windshield washer fluid when you're driving around. And this stuff, because I'm in Canada, it's Canada's strongest and Canada's safest and it is Clearview windshield washer good to minus 49. And then where would we be without WD-40? Like they say, if it doesn't move and it should, you use WD-40. And if it moves and it shouldn't, well then you use duct tape. So that's what I use. I carry these around and I like to have them nice and handy right at the back of the van. So all I have to do is lift up the hatch and it's there for me to use, especially that fuel conditioner for every time that I want to fuel up. But everything that's in this bag is also accessible from the inside of the cab. There we go. Everything all packed up and ready to hit the road, head on down the road to my next location. Uh, where I'll film another video and show you another item in my Dodge Caravan traveling van.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I, I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the scenery and the, the shots and the, uh, that I took around Chimanus, and I hope you like the, uh, the, the murals. And perhaps if you're in the neighborhood, you'll come and check it out for yourself. Now, if you liked what you saw, I would sure appreciate you hitting the like button and giving me a thumbs up. And maybe you've got friends that you'd like to share this video with and I would appreciate that. But I would really like to see you subscribe. And if you subscribe and hit the bell, subscribe buttons down below. If you subscribe, then you will always be kept aware of when another Hogtide Rising traveling van video is ready to be published. So until next time, have a great day and we'll see you down the road.